Hey guys, Alan Moore here on another fragrance review. Uh, on today's video, guys, is the second part of the autumn winter fragrance list I did the other day. I ran into a few technical difficulties, so this will be coming out a little bit later than the day we were supposed to be scheduled to be released. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't, you know, get the laptop to export properly. So I'm hoping this new video makes it so we can put the video out. Fingers crossed. Okay, so. Um, I said I've got some cracking fragrances here for you guys, so please tune back in and I'll show you these cracking fragrances for autumn and winter. Thank you very much guys, see you in a bit. Okay guys, thanks for coming back, I really appreciate that, I'm sorry about you know, not being able to uh, release it the date was supposed to come out, but you know, I'm not the most technical person in the world, and I had a lot of trouble figuring things out. So I'm trying to reshoot it to see if it'll be able to upload better that, that way. Okay, so I'm having to do it later or not. We just finished work, so I'm trying to get all this video out for you guys. So without further ado, let's get on with this video. Right, first one I've got to show you guys is this one here. It's just been around for ages you now. Lots of people have reviewed it and it's this one here uh, Giorgio Armani and it's the Aqua de Gio Profumo and it's a nice aquatic booze air kind of a smelly fragrance you know it's got uh, uh, sorry an aromatic aquatic that's what it's classed as released in 2015 and he's got sea notes and bergamot at the top which is a nice combo when it starts off then you've got rosemary, sage, geranium, and in the base you've got incense and patchouli. And I say this is a really good fragrance because it's a good all-rounder, guys. It doesn't matter what season it is. You can do this, this fragrance to serve you well. So if you haven't purchased it yet, you know, try and get your nails. Know, so if you like it, boys, I don't think you'll regret it. Moving on to number two now. It's this one here, and it's like a Middle Eastern fragrance. And it's a cheap, but it's such a good fragrance. And this is by the House of the Taff, and it's called Quaid, right? And this fragrance is based on Dunhill Absolute, the gold bottle that they released, the icon one. And this is their take on that. And it smells such a lovely, uh, dense fragrance, but with a nice smell about it. And it's got lots of different notes in this. The gear, it's punch in this, this kind of weather, and as it gets a bit colder. So this will be a nice cheap, you get it off eBay. At about between 10 and 15 pound guys so let me just give that a few notes on this one it was released in 2018 it's an amber fragrance guys uh, and it's got cinnamon cardamom bergamot and then you've got saffron sandalwood cedar and carnation in the mid and then the base you've got vanilla oud and amber and leather but the oud's not a skanky oud guys it's like a, a nice pleasant oud so i think you'd get away with wearing this it's quite good so that's my second pick. I'm moving on now with uh, number three, which is this one here. Bulgari Man in Black. And this is another good fragrance again. It's got lots of woods, spices, it's got rum in it. And although the, the spray they do shoot a lot of juice out there, it's got some control. You can shoot more of that if you like, guys. And it does smell. Classy this does. You could put wear, uh, dress this up anywhere, or you could just wear it with a pair of nice jeans and a couple of nice, you know, a nice t-shirt if you can go in So it is a nice fragrance, but this time of year it rocks. So I, I would say try and get this in guys, it's a good fragrance. Okay, another again. Now this is another one from the Middle East, and it's a cheapie as well. And they shouldn't have to turn on hours about these guys because some bargains. We all like a bargain. And so this one. It's called by Arden Ard Al Zafran and it's 24 hour hood and it's this black bottle with a gold plate down there. You'll get it off eBay and you'll get a little atom or you know body spray with it as well for about 15 quid. But it's their take on Black Orchid by Tom Ford. And this does smell like I smelt the original, it does smell very much like it, but it's more of a, a daytime version if you like. Uh, and for the money, it's a bargain again. If you like the idea of smelling like a uh, black orchid, and it does smell like the actual original, but obviously the original is more richer and different stuff because they, they top forward, and that's what you pay your money for. 
but this is a good cheap substitute to have like use as a wax and different things like that especially if this kind of weather and it gets a bit colder it projects like crazy and it's got a nice chocolatey smell so think of that one as well so that's number uh, four we're on to our fifth one now and it's this one here and it's john paul gautier ultra male now most people have heard this by now and this use one of my favorites from that house it's got a little sw sweet now <laughs> it's got a fantastic sweet pear note and the vanilla note and the mint and everything all amalgamated together fantastic fragrance yes yeah, some people say it's a bit youthful maybe so but i love it and obviously this will be second bottle and when i get a big bottle when this one's run out maybe it's the kid coming out in there i don't know but i do love this fragrance and other good and guys good date night fragrance as well so that's uh, another one moving on to this one now and this one is a bit of a, an aquatic freshy type of a fragrance you think well why are you putting that in an autumn or winter list because it projects like a beast and it'll put up with a camel with that but it's like a bit like uh, the valentine uh, the George Armani one. It's this. It's like um, it'll cope in any seasons, any weather. And it's this one here. It's, 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 it is really a beast. It projects for ages. It's got good lungs. Jerry to the sea is good. It's this one by Rassassi. It's called Awas. And it's got a nice metal cap. And sprays, sprays a stack of juice. And you go. Know, oh, it just filled my bedroom there. No wife will be getting mad at me after because it's a bit choking at times when it's trying to sleep. Uh, but it is a really powerful, powerhouse kind of fragrance with a nice aquatic feel about it, a, re a refreshing fragrance. And it will stay well even in the winter, so, it, it, summer, spring, or autumn. It is really that good. Uh, it's based on a um, Pacaraban, hang on, uh, it's the. 2016 Aqua uh, by Pacaraban, that like fragrance they wrote, released in the Invictus line, and it's sought after now. It's like about 300 quid I heard off not so long ago on other videos, and that's about 80 quid. So you can see it's a bargain, really. This is such a good fragrance, guys. I, I would urge you to get that. Moving on with this one now, and this one's called Azaro Poor Arm Intense. You know, and it's got a lovely rum, uh, brandy note in here, and it mixes with a few other notes in it. And it's such a good fragrance, a proper barbershop fragrance with attitude. That's how I would describe this because you just, you know, it makes you feel like it puts a smile on your face when you put this on because it is really a pleasant, masculine, you know, kind of fragrance. You want to have, you're nice having a haircut. And you come out of the barber smelling something like that, you feel fantastic, your dreams really that good. So, you know, it's one of the fragrances as well. It's uh, about the between 40 and 50 pound mark. And it's got top in the top, it's got cinnamon, brandy, Asian vetiver in the middle, and amber and tonka beans in the in the base. You can tell where the sweetness is coming from, guys. The next one now is another John Paul Gautier, but it's a new addition to my collection this year, and it's this one here. Scandal pour on. It's got a lovely, lovely caramel out here. And this would be fantastic on a date night. Because a lot of the young ladies or women out there, you know, do like sweet fragrance. You've only got to look at some of the videos on YouTube and then, you know, uh, stopping people in the streets and spraying things like this on. The reactions are quite in favour if it's mouse by mouse people. There's a few ladies there who might be different. But there's a, a, a good majority who like sweet fragrances. And I say with this one, you've got cloudy sage, mandarin orange in the top. And you've got caramel and then you've got tonka beans in the mid and you've got vetiver in the base. It's classed as an aromatic fuchsia. It's released in two... Th oh, sorry. I'm reading the wrong one here. It's an amber woody. And it was released in 2021. You know, I say it's a cracking fragrance. I love it too. Oh, clash, and I do like the house with John Paul Gautier, though. Now, this one, I'm going to have a market again. I've got a few cheapers in here, but it's well worth the money. This one here, Rag Bar by Latafa. You know, a nice sweet fragrance again. You know, something you could rock, you know, during these autumn and winter months. It's got a nice sweet note. It's got, like, vanilla and sugar, just like, sugar, you know, granulated sugar. It's got agarwood in there. It's got incense, sandalwood and musk. 
is the vanilla and the sweetness that take over this fragrance you know and it's got it has got a nice sweetness about it but not overly sweet where john paul gator is go to you know sweet and so is the other one scandal this is just dialed back a little bit but it's still very nice so this one <laughs> now this one is one of the stars of my collection in its valentino umo intense a nice hydrous note in here guys fantastic another 10 out of 10 fragrance just like the Dior Arm Intense, in my opinion, but they're both very good. And the Dilly the oil is now excellent. And it's got a nice black studded bottle look there. It's got this kind of colour on my bottle. You might have a different bottle. If you buy a new bottle today, you might be slightly different. It's got a studded colour, and that's there where the difference is. But it stops you just pressing it by accident. But this, it, honestly, guys. I think if you was going out somewhere with your friends towards Christmas, you know, having a meal somewhere and then going to a club after or something, to stick that on your rocket, it, it, it'd be one of them things. Or your friends would be asking what you were learning. It is really that good. So, we on to our last few now, our last five. I mean, we'll start with a classic, but it's got such an attitude, this one. It's really well, well picking up. Mm. And it's this one here. Uh, what, uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Alpium pour on for men. Right, it's got a nice plastic top and the plastic sprayer. And let me just say to that. And this spray is a stack of juice here. But it's that first opening, guys, when you smell this. Right, it's got black currant and star anise in the top, and you can smell it straight away. And it's a lot different. You, if you do have a few uh, classics in your collection, I'll tell you, if you buy this, it'll be different from what you've got. This has got attitude. You know, it's really got a bit of punch to it when you first spray it on. It's got good longevity, it's got good projection for the first hour, hour, maybe hour and a half. And you can still smell it on your skin if you get a bit closer. You know, for a, a fresh, you know, a, a classic fragrance, it's quite good in that department. It's quite good, good longevity for what it is. And now then, we can go to another classic now by a different house. Well, this one's by Christian Dior. And this. This is really a wearing a suit. Somewhere nice over the winter, autumn, winter months, if you're going out for Christmas or, you know, Thanksgiving in America, you know, anywhere like that. You've got special occasions all around the world. Stick this on with a nice suit, you have a at it. Trust me, this is fantastic. This is called Dior Alm, sorry, Dior Alm Sauvage is the powerful version look. And it's oh, it's got a beautiful smell to this. It's got such a nice grown up, not old manish, but just sophisticated, classy, you know, elegant. It's got everything what you'd want if you were wearing a suit and you're wearing it to like a black toy event or you're trying to impress some people at work with it. Stick this on, guys. It'll get you noticed. It's not really that good. And again, I wouldn't say this if I didn't believe it myself. Yes, I'm doing a video for you guys, but at the same time, I do love these fragrances. And I've worn them quite a lot, so I know what they work like on your skin. And this baby here, oh dear. <laughs> Date night watch out if you put this on, guys. It's seven, seven, mate, you can go into. This is fantastic. It's got a lovely smell to this. I hope they never try to reformulate it or change it. It's such a nice fragrance. And it's like another 10 out of 10 fragrance for me, this is. I just don't think I'm going to try and reformulate it because it would be a shame because they've got a masterpiece on the hand here. They could still keep selling this in like months or years to come. It's that nice. And so that was... I'll put it down here and show you a goodie bottle. This one here, like I say. Uh, this is, you just in case you don't know, this is by Giorgio Armani or Emporio Armani. And it's stronger with you intensely. That's what the name of the fragrance is. If you didn't know what it is, most people don't watch these videos. I've seen this before by now. But this gives you such a nice smell about it. You put this on. You know, you're going to walk into a club, into a pub, anywhere you go for a drink with friends. You know, you're meeting up with young ladies somewhere in the, the, the club. That's going to get you noticed. Trust me, this will get you noticed, guys. I'm not saying that you'll have the way you want at the end of the day, you know, it might not work out, you know, that way you might. 
have to work harder for it to you know put your personality across and everything to get these people to click with you you know but these some of these fragrances and that's well that been rich enough to cut through the cold hair like that guys and so we've got this one here now now i've got my last video i did i did a tobacco fragrance and this is the only other one i've got is this one here tobacco myth and it's by uh i think it's paris corner i think fragrance well this is from fragrance well and it's a copy of carolina rara their copy of the tobacco fragrance that i do i don't know the name of the carolina rara but it, this bottle everything about this bottle is all on that bottle it's a popper rip off kind of thing but the smell inside here and it's cheap as chip this is you know and it's well worth a pick up if you like a bit of tobacco fragrance this is see you well through all the winter and autumn and, and maybe next year as well because it is that night but this where the other one was like a copy of tobacco over a on the other video which is tom ford again this hasn't got the vanilla in this has got spices in but this imagine a pipe tobacco with spices and a little bit of sweetness that's what you get which is a, a, a good fragrance for a, a tobacco fragrance for the price you're paying for it when i had the jenny moogler the uh, Ivan, the pure Ivan one, and I love that fragrance. And they've got honey in it, but again, it's totally different from this. This has got the spice. You just think of your your, your, rank, your granddad, you know, getting his pipe pouch with all the tobacco, and he's filling the pipe, and you get the aromas of the tobacco and the spices in that. That's what it smells like. It is really that good. Well, the last one now, and this is, in my opinion, Calvin Klein's best work. It's this one here obsession for men this you got a fantastic cardamom note not cardamom cinnamon note in there and it's really good this time of year because so it got christmas and everything coming up shortly and you know it, it, it works well with all the, the cooking they do around christmas and the, the spices they use this fits in well and it does last on your skin it just project and if you don't you've never seen it before that's what the bottle looks like it is an old 80 school classic Right. it's a classic fragrance this is good so don't underestimate it it has got a like a cinnamon bomb in there but it's done well and it's got other notes in there to give this classic feel about it and it's such a nice fragrance i'd urge anybody you know to give it a go and get it in your collection and then every time you come maybe autumn winter just try it out one of the days you say you get on get test give it a test drive you know and then just see how it goes right that's it for me guys Thanks for tuning back in. I'm sorry about the delay, like I said at the start of the video. I can't help it. It's some of these things I can't control. I've not got the te technical mind there to fix things sometimes. I'm hoping this video will turn out correct. Uh, I'll try to shorten it down. So that's why I'm going through the frag. It's a little bit quicker. Because I tended to run over that so, uh, yesterday talking too much. Uh, could you please like and share and subscribe to this channel, please? That'd be fantastic. I'd really appreciate that, guys. I'll do my best to try and give you guys good content. And I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys. All the best. Bye now.